All right, so this is going to be the end result of what we are going to display on our page. We're going to create a page and then just display the data grid, a very simple example as you can see. Um, but primarily this video is to show you how to just implement the library and uh, just start using it in its most basic form. So let's go ahead and do that. So first thing is going to be install the NuGet pack packages. So uh, go ahead and right click on your solution. Um, go to your NuGet packages. I'm going to go quick through all this so um, I might be going a bit a bit fast. But So get, go ahead and get blazerize.bootstrap, blazerize.datagrid, blazerize.icon.font awesome. Install all those and the next thing we're going to do is go to and add our static files. And our static files are going to be here in the index.html. So these static files are going to be these right here. And you can actually find these on the website, um, the docs website that Blazor Eyes uh, has. So it's going to be those as well as these down here. Uh, let me go ahead and just show you where those were at. So right here. As you can see, these are the these are what you will need. Um, watch out for the ID equals app. On my in my case, I already had that there, so just make sure you don't du duplicate it. Um, as you can see here, I have it already right here. So anyway, um, all right. And then after that, we are going to add imports. So let's go to our imports underscore dash imports dot razor right here. Go ahead and add using Blazorize and using Blazorize.DataGrid. After that, we're going to register services. So this is going to be in both program.cs. It depends on your project. I'm using a client server. So I'm going to add this chunk of code right here on program.cs for both. Um, and then these should auto-populate. Uh, I'm using Visual Studio 2022. But anyway, so add those on there as well as your other all your program.cs I believe I'm learning this myself so I'm not hundred percent sure if you need them on both but I added it either way it worked um, so go ahead and do that that is as you can see right here on the documents page okay and then after that we are going to create the page so I just created a page called simple data grid um, named it that's the route it takes, a simple dash data grid. Added the code here using a data grid, um, as you saw on the page at the beginning of this video. And uh, yeah, so basically just copy this. This is just to get started. Um, I actually got this from ChatGPT because I'm learning uh, the data grid and all the components within it. So go ahead and launch the project. Uh, yeah. Okay, and then I don't have a button going to it, so dash simple dot data grid. I'm just going to reference it from the URL. As as you can see, we have it here, and it actually also has some sorting going on as well. So yep, that's kind of just getting started. Um, nothing in detail, but more videos will be coming on that.